More generally speaking, if we denote the price of iPhone in the US or price in dollar unit by PUS, which in our case is equal to a thousand US dollar. If we denote the price of the iPhone in Japan or the price of the iPhone in yen units by PN, which turns out to be a hundred thousand Japanese yen. With this notation, no arbitrage opportunity or law of one price implies when we convert the two prices into the same units, for example, Japanese yen, they have to be converted into the same Japanese yen. So in Japan, the price is already in yen, right? So the price is just P yen, 100,000 yen. In the US, price is PUS. To convert it into yen, we multiply this price by the exchange rate. So multiply the price in US by the exchange rate. That's the iPhone price in the US converted into Japanese yen, right? So this is the iPhone price in Japan. This is the iPhone price in the US converted into the units of Japanese yen. According to law of one price, we have to get the same. So this basically gave us an equation that relates the exchange rates to the prices in US and in Japan. We can divide both sides of this equation by PUS or P dollar. The right hand side divided by P dollar becomes E, yen per dollar. And the left hand side divided by P dollar become P yen per over P dollar. And this gives us a relationship that relates the exchange rate to the price ratio.